Good morning, folks. We've got a look at solar activity and top science news on climate and catastrophism. We'll start with the last 24 hours on our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day on the sun was quiet. Until it wasn't. Just over the incoming limb on the north, we see multiple eruptive actions and likely flare or filament-driven coronal motion. This active region is turning into face Earth over the coming days. Meanwhile, the sunspot on the Earth-facing side remains all alone. Without peripheral spots, the fields spread out and reconnect at numerous locations, leaving the core energy signatures right there at the sunspot itself, instead of the sharing is caring for solar flaring scenario. Top quake of the last day was, luckily not near heavily populated areas, downgraded to 6.3 after initially ringing in at 6.7. Let's head to the articles. We're up first. No observer is surprised when the scientists find observational reality doesn't match their hypotheses. Here, a period of allegedly cold and permafrost accumulation led to a warmer climate condition in parts of Russia. Another in the world of surprises for climate scientists getting out of the classroom and into the field. Up next is the missing cooling in Greenland during H1, which is actually the second listed Heinrich event behind H0, and should be the third if they counted the last great flood of this planet. The Heinrich events like to mark the 6,000-year half cycle to the 12,000-year full magnetic excursion cycle, and to learn more about those, just go right below any of our recent videos and find the disaster playlist. You won't be waiting long since the first episode is the one dealing with those cycles. Now, in that same vein, despite the last 100,000 years ago delivering a 12,000-year cycle and 6,000-year half harmonic, when you look back over the last almost million years, you see the magnetic polarity shifting close to that 6,000-year cycle, not the 12,000-year cycle. Now, in truth, the practical reality of those details here are less important since we're at the end of the 6,000 and 12,000-year harmonic right now, and the practical reality of it's playing out is far more important for all of us alive today. Penultimate link today hits anomalous behavior of materials in the deep. It's not only nice to see that observational reality working geophysics here, but when the anomalies are all electrical, it's quite the discovery. Words fail to properly describe the electrical activity they're missing at the total system scale, dependent on a volume of these small-scale electromagnetic truths. Last but not least, Folks, the topic of NOVA will be the focus of a special video soon, because the field is in complete disarray. Not in shambles, but in a tornado of new data. For now, what you need to know in this paper is a new high-detail look for supernova remnants. Found nine of them. Only four had been discovered in the small area of the heavens before. For veteran observers who remember that their lack of ability to see these things in space is tricking us into thinking they were less common and less different from one another. Folks, this survey shows they missed over half the supernova, and that's before the better infrared technology comes out with Roman and James Webb, and it's not even touching the smaller, much harder to see classical nova, recurrent nova, dwarf nova, and all the other names they give to the small ones. Again, biggest of all varieties, they missed more than half. The special video later this week should really upend what you think you know about nova. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.